welcome back to my channel and if you couldn't tell this is going to be my first ever holiday video for this year and actually my first ever holiday video on my channel and I am so excited because I have many more videos to come but if you guys are excited for today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below because you guys our family keeps growing every single day and I love it when you guys subscribe to my channel because you stay updated and you guys can check out all my new videos and also click that bell because even though you do click the subscribe button, it doesn't notify you every single time I upload, but when you click that bell, you will be notified for every single video I upload and trust me, you guys do not want to miss out on any of my videos. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am and without further ado, let's get started. So first we are going to start off by taking our butter and placing it in the stand mixer and do not worry I will have the measurements for all the ingredients in the description box down below and also the link for where I found this recipe. But once you have put your butter inside your stand mixer you're going to cream it for about a minute or so and you can scrape down the bowl if you'd like it's not very necessary but it's an optional step. And after you're done that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your sugar and then after you're going to cream your sugar and your butter together until they are light and fluffy. So once you've added your butter and your sugar together, make sure to occasionally scrape the bottom of the bowl because you do not want to have any loose pieces of sugar laying around that are not mixed together with your butter. So once your butter is creamed together with your sugar, the next things we're going to add is the rest of our wet ingredients. So we are going to add in our vinegar, one egg, and also our molasses. And you are going to mix this together until it is a nice and smooth consistency. Once your batter has reached a nice smooth consistency, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to mix all our dry ingredients, which means we are going to mix our flour, salt, and all our spices together. And as you can see here, as I said before, I took all my spices and I mixed them together with the flour, including the salt. And then after little by little, we are going to scoop a bit of the dry mixture and we are going to mix it and incorporate it with the rest of the wet ingredients. And we're not just going to pour this in all at once because we want the flour to be mixed well and we don't want to have any um, unmixed pieces of flour in our cookie dough. Once we have mixed together all our flour, the cookie dough should look something like this and it should be very smooth and you should not be able to see any pieces of flour in it at all. And after we are done that, we are going to separate the batter into two, cover it in some saran wrap and pop it in the fridge for about 50 to 90 minutes. So after your dough is done chilling in the fridge, you're going to pull it out and you're going to let it come to room temperature. So it's going to take maybe a good hour or even two hours for it to come to room temperature and once your dough is at room temperature you are going to take it out of the saran wrap that we put it in before grab a rolling pin and some all-purpose flour or pastry flour dust it on the surface that you're using and also dust a bit on top or you can dust some on the rolling pin and then you can start rolling and using your cookie cutters to cut and shape any type of cookie your heart desires Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, when you are finished rolling out all your dough and cutting out your cookies, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a baking pan or a baking sheet and you're going to place all your cookies on that pad. And if you'd like, you could place parchment paper on top of them, but I didn't because I didn't have any at the time. And if you're not going to place parchment paper on the pan, make sure you grease it well so your cookies do not stick on the bottom. And then after, make sure your oven is preheated because the cooking step will work a lot better if the oven is preheated. And you're going to bake these cookies for about 6 to 11 minutes and keep your eye on these cookies because they bake very, very, very fast. After 
after your cookies are done baking you're obviously going to pull them out of the oven and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and if you'd like to speed up this process you can just pop your cookies in the freezer and they will cool much faster and what I did with the extras was I put them in a ziploc bag or you can put them in an airtight concealer and these cookies are good for about two to three weeks and another thing you guys can do with these cookies is if you have any younger siblings or you know any little kids that are coming over for the holiday season you can give them these cookies to decorate and it's a really fun activity that kids enjoy okay so this is the final product for the gingerbread cookies So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'd like to give a big shout out to my three sisters for joining me and helping me in this video and I had so much fun with them. And if you guys have any other questions about this video or anything about the recipe that I made, everything will be in the description box down below and also the link to the recipe and where I found it. But overall, I hope you guys try out this recipe and tell me if you guys really like this recipe and how it turned out for you guys. And as usual, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below, the bell beside it, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because whenever you click that thumbs up button, you tell me basically whether you enjoyed this video or not. And feel free to leave any comments down below of anything you enjoyed in today's video or any future videos you'd like to see. So that is it for today's video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye!